light of all the world. We are a city on a hill. We're a candle on a stand proclaiming light. We will not hide our land beneath the bushel anymore. We will shine a ray of all that's burning bright. We are a So good morning, my messy friends. It's good to see you all. I have been away for two long weeks on vacation. And even though I was on vacation doing a lot of fun stuff, I miss seeing all of your smiling faces. And I'm so glad to be back with you all this morning. And, you know, while I was on vac vacation, I got to thinking. I was, I was thinking a lot on this vacation. And I was thinking that all of us, in our lives, even young people like you, Freddie, and you, Emmy, all of us, we had to deal with some really hard stuff, some really heavy stuff. And I, I was wondering, could you think of any hard things or really heavy things that you maybe have to think about or deal with? Do you have any thoughts about a big, hard, or heavy thing? Yeah. I have some ideas. What do you got, Freddie? My idea is that a lot of bats last night were hanging on the roof. Yeah, bats yeah. having to deal with, they weren't hanging inside your house, were they? Yes, they were. Oh, they were. Oh my, you live in a bat cave. Oh yeah, my the word. The ceiling, the, the light. Really? Yeah. Oh. Freddie, you are, you are a very brave young man. Very brave. Well, yeah, some, sometimes we had to deal with bats, definitely. Definitely. You know, in my old apartment, we used to get bats all the time. So we would constantly ran out of our house because we were so afraid. Uh, Emmy, what about you? Can you think of any hard things or big things you had to deal with that are maybe not so fun, not so nice? No pressure. No pressure. 
No, that's okay. That's okay. Because I'm thinking there's lots of hard things that we deal with. Like sometimes our friends aren't as nice to us as we would want them to be, right? Maybe sometimes, I don't know, we're on the playground and there is a bully out there. I think, especially nowadays, we have a lot of friends and family who get sick. You know, that's a big thing. That's a heavy thing to try to carry. We know, yeah, I know at our church, we make a lot of sandwiches for people who don't have food, who don't have meals to eat. So, you know, helping other people who don't, who aren't as lucky as us, that's also a big thing. That That is a heavy thing. So, you know, while I was on this vacation, I got to thinking, and here's what I was thinking. I'll see what you think about this. I was thinking that all of us, we're kind of like this thread. Can you see that thread? I know it's pretty thin. Yeah, all of us are like a thread, I think. And sometimes, I mean, we can do, you can do a lot of things with thread. You can sew things together. And my light just fell off the table. No big deal, no big deal. But there's a, a lot of things that we can do with thread. But, you know, when it comes to lifting heavy things, for instance, this dumbbell, I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you think that this thread can lift up this heavy dumbbell? I mean, this is, it's five pounds. What do you think? I don't think so. Freddie doesn't think so. Emmy, do you think it's going to lift it? Shaking her head. No, no. Well, let's find out what we can do with this one string. Ready? Oh, no, it ripped right off. Did you see that? Oh, man, I did not. I got to be honest with you. I didn't see that coming. Whew. So, so that one string by itself, it could not lift up this really heavy thing. So let's try something else. So here's what I did on my vacation. I, 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 I got three threads and I braided them all together. So if this one thread represents just us by ourselves, these three threads woven together, braided together, represent us as a church community coming together, combining all of our gifts and all of our strengths together. And let's look at this five pound dumbbell. Freddie and Emmy, do you think that this braided, this braided thread, do you think we're gonna be able to lift up this five pound dumbbell? It looks pretty thin, doesn't it? We could, let's see and find out. Let's see and find out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's. Well, Emmy, what do you think? What do you think? Is it going to lift? No? Okay, well, there's only one way to find out. Folks, here we go. Here we go. Ready? Oh, wait, can someone count for me? And I'll do it on three. One, two, two three. three. What? Oh! It did. Yeah, it did. It and that. It did, and that is only with three threads. Imagine if I had woven together 10 or 15 or 60 or 100 threads, we could lift up anything. We could lift up a dinosaur, a dump truck, any big or heavy thing in the world around us, we would be able to lift up, I am pretty darn sure. We could even lift up a pandemic, Reverend Tom. We, we could even lift up a pandemic. So friends, what I just want you to know this morning is the reason that we gather together every Sunday like this is because we are so much stronger together. We are so much better together. And there are a lot of really big things out there. And, and we might break if we try to lift them up by ourselves. But if we lift them up together with all these people who we love and who love us so much, we will be able to do it. Amen? Amen. 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 So let's... So before we have our special meal that reminds us that God loves us and will never leave us, let's say a little prayer together, okay? Let us pray. God, we thank you for each and every face on this Zoom call. And we give you thanks for them because we know that with their help, there is no problem too big. There is no weight too heavy that we will not be able to lift it in Jesus' name. Amen.